So filter, uh, tuple, tuple filter. So we're going to implement a yep. type filter out. It takes in uh, the first argument is a tuple. And the second argument is a thing we want to filter out of that tuple. So in the example mm. here, we have one, two, null, and three. And we're going to filter out null. So then we'll just get back a tuple with one, two, three. So uh, that works uh, for empty tuples as well. We, can, we have to be able to operate on never, which is probably going to be a challenge. We have all kinds of different values in here. Uh, we can also, <laughs> because it's TypeScript, we can put a union in as the second thing so that mm. any thing that is assignable to that union will also get filtered out. So in this case, never null undefined. All of those things get filtered out. So, and then that goes for values themselves that are unions. Uh, so, <laughs> oh my God. It's uh, the whole gamut here. Uh, so, okay, the logic is then if it like fully matches up, then we remove it. And if it doesn't fully match up, then we just remove the parts that are members of each union. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to need a solution for this. This okay, one looks okay, yeah. really nasty. <laughs> so I'll show you the the first solution. Uh, this is like the most common solution I think that I see people do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. So this type filter out then, we've got T extends infer head and infer tail. This is like a classic tuple thing, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you need to iter over, iterate over members. And then somewhere in here, you're going to be calling the filter out on the tail uh, and this pred, I guess this is the predicate, right? Yes. Like that's what they're uh, inferring there. And so then when you do have members here, then you check if head extends predicate with again, that box syntax that we've seen before, then mm -hmm. inside filter out. Okay. And then if it does, oh yeah, if it does, we remove it, right? Mm -hmm. I see. So the filter out then is just being called on the tail uh, and then, like, we pass in the predicate there. Otherwise, we pass in the head. Oh, and this is distributive. Yes. Is that is that the trick I'm missing there? That's the trick, yeah, because, because of right here. Got it. Okay, wait, so... Okay, so this then, like, this conditional iterates over each member of the union? Yes. Okay, could you explain this a bit more sure. to me? So, so this is... Uh... This is taking the unit. So like if we, let's take an example, like a particular run would have predicate be this and mm -hmm. uh, let's grab for A6 here. So we can sort of, mm, it's falling off the screen, but okay. <laughs> so what we're seeing here is does number or null or undefined inside of a tuple, which is the way that you kind of do uh, distribution busting in TypeScript. Yeah. Does that as a chunk is it assignable to this other thing as a chunk? And we see that, well, null is the same, undefined is the same, but number and never are not. So the yep. answer in this case is, is, is like false. We would go to this branch. We would keep uh -huh. it. And we see that indeed in the, in the thing, in the result in B6, it is remained. Now let's go to the second uh -huh. item. Um, the second item would just be this. So is never this piece assignable to uh, never or null or undefined? Oh, like yeah. The predicate. Yeah, exactly. It is in a tuple. Uh -huh. So yeah, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I think I've misunderstood the, the aim of the, of the thing, but this makes a lot of sense then because you're just like comparing the entire union to the entire union and see if you keep it or not. Yes. That's really nice. Yes. Um, all right. There's a, there's one other solution here. Um, uh -huh. I'll comment this first one. So oh my gosh, okay. It's pretty similar. Yeah. So I left it, I preserved it. There's this beginning part. I see, which you, you, you're saying you don't need. Yeah. Uh, it's really common that people will add stuff like this while you're working through problems because this person probably added it because, well, the first, uh, if we go up, the the first yeah. cases are handling empty, like, well, the very first case handles an empty tuple. 
And in TypeScript, you know, this means empty tuple. It doesn't mean, I think it's easy to think that this means like any array or something. It's an array with, yep. you know, unspecified thing, but it's not what it means. It means literally the, the empty tuple. And mm. you can skip this. And the reason is if this match case here, like the extends doesn't match this, it doesn't have a head um, or a tail. The tail can be an empty tuple. So it has to have at least one value. So this is basically in TypeScript, yep. this is saying like at least one value. Yeah. If that doesn't match, we'll just get unknown array anyway. Um, yeah, and I see, I see, I see. Okay. An unknown array is basically the same as a, is a tuple? Although no, an empty tuple is never array, right? Yeah, I think I think it would probably. Uh, oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm not sure about ne never array. Hmm, I haven't uh, thought yeah. about that. No, no, I'm think I'm thinking about it from the opposite end because, uh, yeah, if you were to go like type uh, whatever. No, in fact, no, I am thinking about it from the opposite end. I've had my head in generics for too long. <laughs> so what's going on here then is this is basically the same. This is the same solution. Yeah, yeah. now it is as we had before. Right. Okay, right. That makes a lot of sense. So you just, I, I like that idea of like someone would look at the first two cases and just think, okay, let me just handle those first two cases, then like get a little bit of red off the screen and then right. we can actually figure out the solution. Then you go back and you realize, oh, actually, I don't need to worry about that first bit anyway. Yep, exactly. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, that's not too hardcore. Is yeah. this in the hard section? This is in the hard section. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, some of the some of the hard ones are are like, almost easy or definitely medium and some of the medium ones yeah. should be extreme who knows yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah type challenges that are a cruel mistress <laughs> exactly which All i'm right. sure you found out <laughs> <laughs>